Students across the five boroughs showing off their best Minecraft skills as they prepare for a Battle of the Boroughs eSports competition. That's right. It is a fun and immersive way for students to show how they can make the city more sustainable by creating most future-ready city spaces. Fox News' Kendall Green has more on this competition. I did not expect this club to blow up as much as it did. I thought it was just going to be, oh, me and my students playing video games for fun. And then we saw how passionate they were. That passion translates in the classroom at John Dewey High School, where students are buzzing with excitement, their eyes fixed on the video game Minecraft. It's a little work towards a friendly competition. You gain a lot of teamwork and like preparation skills. So using that, you can like think of stuff like e easier. Senior Eighth Finch is looking forward to returning to the three round elimination style esports competition for the Mayor's Cup Saturday. It's all in partnership with Minecraft Education, C40's Reinventing Cities Initiative, and the Battle of the Boroughs. Finch feels if they win it all, he and his classmates are walking away with more than just a trophy. Doing stuff in Minecraft increases your problem solving because you have to decide what works here, what works there, what do I need to get rid of, what do I need to add, stuff like that. The Battle of the Boroughs competition Saturday is designed to engage young New Yorkers in shaping the city's future by creating the most inclusive futuristic city spaces. They're given a prompt, then they get less than an hour to create, design, and impress the judges with their presentations using the free and accessible game they've all grown to love. They think it's just a game, but it's game-based learning. There's so much you can do with Minecraft and video games in the classroom. It really helps hone their leadership skills, teamwork, collaboration, problem solving. It pretty much is doing all the good work that we love to see in the classroom. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News.